Yep, you read the title right. This is the $5 roast chicken dinner. We get these chickens from Sam's Club. And as you can see, fully cooked rotisserie chicken, $4.98. I'm sure this is a lost leader for Sam's Club. Not everything in Sam's Club is a good deal, but this is a smoking deal right here. We eat these a couple times a month. Whenever we go grocery shopping, we always make sure to pick up a rotisserie chicken. And these are sitting on a warmer in the grocery store and uh, we bring them home and put them in the fridge and then just heat them up later. As you can see, there's lots of condensation in there and that uh, skin on that chicken is definitely not crispy. Uh, that's the main reason why we, we heat it up uh, later. It's just to crisp up that chicken. We like the crispy chicken skin. The pan I like to use for this is this nifty little uh, tray and pan set that I got as a gift. I like using the rack because the drippings from the chicken will, will fall down onto the pan and uh, then the chicken isn't sitting in a puddle of its own grease. As you can see I've used this for many chickens. If you don't want uh, staining or burnt uh, stains on your pan, probably coat it with some foil I would say. But obviously a rack isn't required. This could be done in any kind of baking dish. A rack is just nice. But this chicken is fully cooked and seasoned and I don't do anything to it at all aside from pulling it out of the package and putting it on this rack. And since I'm going to be heating up this chicken in the oven, I like to be efficient about this. And since I'm heating up the oven, I'm going to cook some vegetables in the oven right along with the chicken. Tonight it's going to be sweet potatoes. I think sweet potatoes are one of the more underrated vegetables that you find in the grocery store. I like them roasted in the oven with uh, savory seasonings on them. Uh, you'll see that in just a minute. Here's the tip of the day. I think a lot of people don't realize on the vegetable peeler, there's a little tool on the end there that can be used for digging out the eyes of potatoes. Just jab it in there and give it a little twist and those little blemishes and the potatoes just pop right out. Most peelers that I've owned have this little feature. It's pretty handy. But I'm just gonna peel those sweet potatoes and get them chunked up into about one inch size chunks. Put those into a bowl. And then I'm gonna add a liberal amount of canola oil and then just give those a shake and get that oil all dispersed along those sweet potato chunks. As for seasoning on the sweet potatoes, I do it a little bit different every time. Uh, the standard is usually just salt, pepper, and onion powder, but I'm going to spice it up a little bit today with some cumin seeds and some red pepper flakes. And then give them another toss, get them all coated with that seasoning. Sweet potatoes are going to cook in the oven on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Parchment paper is my absolute favorite thing to use to line a pan for baking. Food doesn't stick to it, but you still get a browning on the food. It works so much better than foil in my opinion. And I'm just going to spread those out evenly on the pan and the sweet potatoes and the chicken are going to go into a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And about 20 minutes in I'm going to pull the sweet potatoes out and uh, just give them a rough flip. Uh, nothing too tedious here, not, not, no need to make sure every single piece gets flipped, but just kind of toss them around a little bit, make sure nothing's burning. And I like to cook them just till they're softened and have a little bit of browning on them. And I'll go back in the oven for another 10 minutes. So after a total cook time of 30 minutes, the chicken is hot and it's all crispied up on the outside and sweet potatoes are cooked to perfection. Time to serve it up. Along with this chicken and sweet potatoes, we're having some uh, carrot and cabbage slaw along with some uh, homemade mustard vinaigrette as a dressing. I've got a video on how to make that dressing if you want to check it out. My wife likes to mash up her sweet potatoes and put a little butter on them. That makes them really delicious. There you go. There's the $5 roast chicken dinner. If you have a chance to pick up one of those $5 chickens, I'd highly recommend it. Good stuff and you can't beat the deal. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.